<laughs> I was hoping that we could get out on some of these clear cuts here and uh, set up camp. All these little tight squiggly ones are ATV trails. So we don't want those. We don't want those. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, let's do it. Hey guys, Bill Mann, engineer here at Mammoth Overland. We're out here today at uh, Reeder State Forest testing the off-road capability of the Mammoth trailer. We want to make sure that we prove everything out, ground clearance, perfect articulation with Timberin 3500 HDs, off-road suspension. Brian, our uh, assembly lead here, uh, just winched himself out of a, a little bit of a sticky situation, but everything's holding up great. We're having a lot of fun. Want to walk around some of the new features we have on this awesome trailer just coming out of the factory. Um, you can first off see it's got a really awesome uh, custom camo vinyl wrap all the way around. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite designs coming out of the factory. Um, also looks really good behind my truck. It might have to stay behind my truck for a little bit longer. Uh, one of the awesome things about this trailer in particular, it's got our upgraded power package. Um, so that's two 100 amp hour AGM batteries, two kilowatt pure sine wave inverter. We're always solar ready. Beautiful electronics packaging in here. Simple, rugged, that's the whole concept of this trailer. Works really well. Functional rock sliders. Today, Brian in assembly, he tested those rock sliders out proved that they do their job. We were rubbing against trees, rubbing against rocks. We actually used a high lift today to help move the trailer off of a rock, which was really cool. Coupled with the Timberin 3500 HD suspension, it's axleless, that, that really helped today out on the trails. There were some pretty big obstacles we had to get around, no problem at all. It was, it was awesome. BFG KO2s, uh, phenomenal tire. I actually run them on my Tacoma. Also coming standard with the trailer are electric brakes. Um, that's something that a lot of our competitors charge extra for. Uh, we think it's, it's wise, great safety feature to have, so it comes standard. We're setting up camp, gonna get a little bit warmed up from a chilly day. This Newport heater from Dickinson Marine puts off plenty of heat for this environment here. Uh, coming in from a cold day, playing around on the trails, we gotta get warmed up. And that's what we're gonna do. Exhaust is coming up through this flute here. Um, it's also pulling in fresh air from the outside. Flame is all contained within the unit itself. Plus we have a liquid propane detector and a carbon monoxide detector built into here just in case. Hi, I'm Scott Taylor. I'm the president here at Mammoth, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, the kitchen here. Uh, we have a unique design. It's in sealed. It helps keep the dust out and keep your door down when you're off-roading. Uh, we have a swing-out kitchen. As you can see, that took all of about five seconds, and you're set up, ready to cook. Refrigerator here. Um, that's included in the price of the, of the trailer. Um, you also have instant hot water, sink, Hot water is plumbed to your sink and to a shower. And this space right here uh, is, is all for uh, prep. Uh, I have a large family, so it does well for setting up uh, hamburgers. Um, you're gonna see something new here. So this right here is a, is a water tank, and this is for the Fresner Evaporative Cooler. Uh, that's an option uh, on this trailer, and I'll show you inside how it looks. But what this uh, evaporative cooler does is it allows you to truly be off grid. Air conditioning takes a ton of power. And uh, so we chose to do the, the Fresner unit because it runs on a 12 volt system. You can be off grid and not use up all your power or trying to cool your trailer down. It becomes less effective the more humidity that you have. It still moves a lot of air and there's still cooling that happens. The more evaporation that you get, the, the better it does. It's a $1,500 option to, to add that. Um, and uh, we're actually uh, quite pleased with how it's been uh, helping customers out uh, stay cool in, in the summertime. We tried to build a trailer that actually includes everything. 
Our goal is that when you come to the factory, you need to pick up a propane tank, you need to fill it up with water, and you need to stop at the grocery store and throw some stuff in your fridge, and you can camp that night. It comes ready for solar, it comes with standard with a 100 hour AGM battery, and it comes with a 1000 watt uh, TrueSign inverter. Everyone comes with a mattress, everyone comes with rock sliders. You can kind of see here, I got my hand right here for the rock lights. Uh, those are amber colored to keep the bugs away. Uh, that's standard as well. Everything you see inside here, the bunk bed, the LED lights, storage containers, again, is standard. 21 gallons of water. Everyone has a refrigerator, stove, a sink. Everyone comes with hot water. Right here would be a shower that's included as well. And everyone comes with a toilet uh, as well. It also comes with a roof rack. The roof rack uh, it will hold 1,000 pounds static and 500 pounds dynamic. Uh, which gives you real capability to put a lot of stuff up there. We have guys throwing spare tires up there, canoes, uh, bicycles, rooftop tents. Gross vehicle weight uh, for the trailer is 3,500 pounds. That should pretty much allow any off-road vehicle to be able to tow this. Um, and even some of the smaller uh, cars can do it. Uh, we have some guys that are using a Subaru. Our tongue weight's a little bit heavy. We're 280 pounds. We do that on purpose. Uh, when you're in an off-road environment, uh, you want a lot of weight on your rear wheels, especially when you're doing uh, climbing, uh, going over uh, really high obstacles. Uh, so it's a little bit higher than a normal trailer, but that's intentional. And then drive vehicle weight is 1,650 pounds. Um, again, that's super lightweight. Uh, this is aircraft grade aluminum. It's a monocoque construction. We do that on purpose. We get the strength with not having to pay the penalty of the weight. Uh, I'm Ryan with Mammoth Overland, one of the engineers here. Uh, as you can see, I have a Jeep Cherokee, a uh, small little truck, uh, towed just as good as the other guys here with the bigger rigs. And uh, even though it's a little bit narrow, did just fine on the road. Went over the rocks just fine too. Um, so, you know, a little bit of momentum, pretty good. This is what it's all about. Yeah.